Aaron, let's go with you next. What's your tragic maker for Temple of Doom? Oh, gosh. Um, it's the portrayal of India and the Indian culture. I really thought um, you were going to say Willie again. The portrayal of Willie no, was just... <laughs> no, no. I, of the Indian culture, really. Yes. I. You know what? India holds a really special place in my heart. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been there three times. And, um, cool. you know, I mean, even doing some reading about the movie, that when this movie came out, it was... A, a lot of people thought it was incredibly racist. They mm. couldn't even mm. film in India because right. the Indian government didn't like the script at all. They felt right. it was um, a poor portrayal of their their culture. And um, well, yeah, they weren't even that, allowed to even use the word Maharaja in right. the script. Mm. Yeah, so so that's why they that was the the final linchpin where they said, "All right, we're not filming in India." Yeah, so I mean, I wouldn't say that it makes it would make the average person want to avoid the movie. Um, but it just feels like a real, a gross caricature hmm. of, of a culture and a real highlight or, um, yeah, a caricature of, um, some of the spirituality and, um, and whatnot. It just, it just was cringeworthy for me so, because I've been to the country and I love it so much. Is so. it mainly the thuggy cult aspect or the, even the, the village that they go to in the beginning? Cause I don't know that to me, the, the village seemed like, I didn't seem off putting. And I mean, I haven't been to India myself. I know my wife has, Christy has. Um, but of what I know, that seemed like it's just like a destitute place. It seemed like a very sad place right. and it felt authentic in that way. But if you're talking about the thuggy cult I, and that being like, oh, yeah, that's what India spirituality is like, then right. I could see what you're saying. But I'm just yeah. more clarity. I'm afraid that, that that's India's spirituality. In fact, that that was like an off, like you said, a cult, an offshoot mm-hmm. that even was put you know, to rest or, you know, they thought they got rid of, Mm -hmm. but so I didn't even associate me as a Westerner who's never been to India. Mm -hmm. I, it never even crossed my mind to think that this is what the people from India do. Well, you're a smart guy, Paul. You actually think about the movies you're watching when you don't check your brain uh, or turn your brain off. (laughs) Okay. But we're totally taking over for what Aaron is. Aaron's no, so I'm trying to understand Aaron's, I'm trying to find out what's so uh, offensive about it because I, I mean, I've already said offensive things already. I don't want to say more. <laughs> no, it wasn't the village. I mean, it was uh, that felt like a very, you know, honest portrayal of a destitute place, um, mm-hmm. people okay. in a dire situation. Um, but it was definitely the um, just the the over the overemphasis of just the evil and the, oh, um, the, the the thuggy cultish and you know the kind of typical uh costumes that the guys were in it just mm. um it just felt a little off color oh, okay hmm. so i mean as Fair. a kid i wouldn't notice again it's because i I've, I've been to india three times it holds a special place in my heart and so you know, but if you're looking for a, a great portrayal of Indian culture, I would say The Hundred Foot Journey is an excellent movie to watch. Oh, cool. um, oh okay. Yeah. So, Ooh, Travis, we good. saw that with you and Danae. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, a good really? one. Oh, nice. It's a great movie. I yeah. will. Oh, by the way. Oh, I was going to push back just a, just a slight bit, Aaron. Oh, I will too. Were you in India during 1935 British occupation? No, I wasn't. Okay, then maybe things right. had changed since were then. Were you Francisca? Uh, yeah, were well, you? I mean, oh. I saw this documentary, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and so I assume that's what it was like. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, don't be hating on the fuck you up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a very fair assessment, though, Aaron. And I appreciate that you have this way different perspective oh, being yeah. having been to mm-hmm. India several times that you're able to bring to this. So thank you so much. 